Fan is Asian? I know, it's pretty, uh... I would prepare for your pretty, um, whatchamacallit. Battle. Pretty unbelievable, but it's true. Oh, hey, hey! Always good to see your face. Come, the battle awaits us. Top secret information right there. Exactly. Seconds. Don't tell anyone I told you. Five, four, three, two, one. Let your battle begin. <laughs> Emerald Wind versus Blink Call? I think Blink Heal is usually better. Emerald Wind's okay if you can actually have a specific purpose for it. For example, like hook Gorge into Emerald Wind to make sure the enemy team can't reach you. Or like, you're on comms with a Genji and you wanna like Genji dive bomb into their team and then Emerald Wind split them up. There's like specific reasons. Like if you wanna run Wind, there's usually a very good reason for it. If you're just like, what ult should I pick? I'm not sure, then it's always Blink Kill. If you don't have a very good reason, you should just Blink Kill. No, I didn't get the second globe, it's the worst. No! I really wanted that globe, man. It's the worst timeline. At least I got one globe. Ah, Raynor. That Raynor got monkered. Yeah, I'll probably go E build. I mean, E build's just good now. It's probably just like the best build. I'm down. I got both those globes, hella worth. Didn't think I'd actually get both, but we did. Very nice. Run it down, Jaina. I probably will end up running it down. It's very likely, honestly. I'm make sure he doesn't jump into that globe. That's my globe. Darn it, didn't get that globe. What is run it down? I don't know. Some form of me running into their team on Jaina, probably. It's not bad, though. Jaina is pretty good if you can get flinks off. You have to do it smartly, of course, but... With smart flinks, it can actually be good. Alright, peace out, boys, and thanks for dropping by. Guess I'm double soaking. I'm kind of okay with this. Hmm. As long as they're not fighting, it shouldn't matter too much because I want the globes. Is E better than Q? Eh, it's close. It's close. I think it's a little better if you can get multi man E resets though. Cause it's better to hit in a wide cone than just in a straight small line. But it's close. They're both okay, I think. Don't get cocky. Still more to do. I think double pierce yeah, double pierce double pierce is like nice functionality in theory, but like how often are you actually going to get double pierce? You know? 
Like, how often are you actually gonna queue on a straight line and hit three heroes? I'm pretty sure single pierce is, like, all you need. You're, not, you're not, almost never gonna, like, hit three heroes in a line. Two is usually the most common scenario. How long since HOTS content? When's the last patch? Zag patch? I don't remember. Not that long ago since Zag patch. Depends what you mean by new content though, I guess. Yeah, if you're talking about new hero, it's been like... Yeah, eight months. Don't get caught. Still more to do. Killing spree. You forced my hand. Keep it up. Take care of it. For Theramore. Oh my god, he missed the combo and he missed his ultralisk and we still killed him. That's a kick. That's a back kick. Good one, though. I'll take more where that came from. Kind of want more globes. I hate resorting to violence. This dying is pretty big, too. We want the passive XP from this dying as soon as possible. Five people here already. They're probably on it too. It's free if we get it. Keep it up. Why did I pick Jaina? Yeah, we needed some burst damage follow up to the Kerrigan. I'm coming to help. Kerrigan without burst damage follow up is really bad. Like when he combos someone, they need to die. If they don't die, then you die. Then the Kerrigan dies. So just need some burst. <laughs> The downfall of HOTS was they tried to make it in esports instead of a sustainable business model, and the stockholders got it axed. 
Yeah, I don't think like using everything on HTC is the best idea. But I'm also kind of feel like even if they didn't use everything on HCC, like I'm pretty sure the stockholders would have gotten it axed even if that didn't happen. Pretty sure it was more or less just like uh it's not generating this much revenue, you know. So that's it. And I don't think it would have generated like as much revenue as they wanted. Like I'm pretty sure, unless it was like on par with League or something, they would axed it no matter what. So I think even without HCC, there's no way they could. Uh, I, th I think their expectations were just too high, unrealistic. the difference with Overwatch League? I actually don't think there's that much difference between Overwatch and HOTS. I think literally the difference is they just decided to use all their resources into Overwatch instead of HOTS. I don't actually think there's that big of a difference. The magic of the temple sleeps until I choose otherwise. Why this on 16? I'm just trying it. Like, normally I would go the roots, right? But I'm trying Northern Exposure. Wasn't this 20%? Did they buff it again? I swear this was 20% damage. Why is it 25 again? This got changed in the most recent patch. Yeah, I, I, I don't think Overwatch League is profitable either. Like, I just don't... I don't even think Overwatch is popular anymore. I think the Overwatch League thing was no better than HOTS. If anything, I think it was probably worse. Like, I'm pretty sure if they made the same investment in HOTS, it would have been better for... Like, like I actually think HOTS is a better this game than Overwatch day. overall. Probably biased, but... I think the Overwatch thing is just a lot of people... Like, they built up a lot of hype around it and a lot of vision, but they could have done that with HOTS too, they just chose Overwatch instead of HOTS. Like, you know, they were like, we're gonna build stadiums in every state, we're gonna make this like a real traditional sport, just eSports. But they could have, they, like, they could have done that with HOTS too. They just chose Overwatch instead of HOTS, because it probably wasn't released yet at the time or something, so more hype or something. I don't know exactly why they chose it, but... I, I don't think Overwatch is a success. And I, I think there's a lot of people like I, I could be wrong though because I don't play it so I, you know, I don't follow it that much. There's a lot of people saying that like um you know there's a, like a bunch of teams and they have to pay like 50 million dollars just to buy in so like it's a success in the sense that they made a lot of money off of the buy-ins of the teams. Yeah, my team is really okay. Alrighty then. Sounds interesting. But I feel like they literally just like debated like the team owners. Like I, I think this is a case where the team owners are just stupid. Like, I, maybe I'm talking out of my ass here, you know, because it's like not my. It's just my opinion. I'm not an expert, but like, you pay fifty million for a freaking Overwatch slot, like, this, there, there's no way it's gonna get you back fifty million. I'm like, I'm very. I feel like it's never, they're never getting their money back. That's what I, feel like. I feel like they just got scammed, honestly. Fifty million? Might be more, I don't remember the exact number. It's like some like, incredibly high amount of millions for oh each team way. owner to buy into the league. But I like the thing is, like they're talking with companies that have like in infinite money, right? They're either talk I'm pretty sure they were either either talking with like freaking companies with like angel investors with 
and they're just like rich AF and they know nothing about esports. They just like esports is the next like thing. We gotta get in, you know. Gotta find an investment for our money. Or they're just talking to like freaking Coca Cola and they they got like five hundred billion dollars and fifty million is like a drop in the bucket for them. But I just I don't think they're ever getting their fifty billion back. I feel like it's not happening with Overwatch. But you know, we'll see. Heads up. I'm coming to help. Oh, so yeah, that's how I feel about the Overwatch thing. Pretty much. Blah! Face throw on keyboard and he's dead. Because that's how Jada works. Face throw on keyboard! Face throw! QWE! QWE! And he's dead. Very nice. Jada gameplay is intense, I know. I'm a face rolling machine. You don't know about these face rolls. I mean, you guys could probably Google it. Like, I know I know the buyout. You could, could just Google what price they pay, and I'm pretty sure it's like public or something at this point. But yeah, 50 mil is not a lot to those people that are buying the slots. Because they're just considering it an investment, you know? I'm pretty sure for people like that, like, 9 out of 10 investments fail, it doesn't matter as long as one investment succeeds. And the one investment is like a 10x or 100x, they just make all their money back. But I really don't think they're making their money. Like, I don't, I don't think Overwatch League is the one that's succeeding. I just don't see it. It's over now. Leave my domain. So I think it's a success because they managed to like debate a bunch of really rich corporations. So they actually did make money with it, probably. But I don't know. Like, do you really see a future where there's gonna be like a freaking stadium in every s state, and people are crazy about Overwatch like they are about basketball or something? It's like, to me, right now.